Hello, welcome to Chris's quick tips for Google Sheets. Google Sheet allows you to move or to copy data around the sheet using cut or copy and paste or drag and drop. This table of fruit shows the quantity and price of each fruit and then calculates the total cost by multiplying the quantity and the price. Suppose you have decided that you want to have a separate table with the price information. To move the price information to the new location, select D2 to D9 by clicking D2 and holding down the shift key and using the arrow keys to move to D9. Then select cut either by right mouse clicking and selecting cut or going to the menu, click edit and then cut or use the keyboard shortcut control plus X. Google Sheet puts a dashed line around the selection to show that the range has been selected for either a cut or a copy. Click C13 and either use the menu by clicking edit then paste or right mouse click and click paste or type control plus V. Note that Google Sheets has automatically changed the formula in column E to follow the data that you have just moved with the cut and paste. You can see this by typing F2, which shows that the formula has changed to C3 multiplied by cell C13, which is highlighted with the dashed purple line. It's also worth noting that all the cell formatting has also been moved to the new table and replaces the yellow formatting which was in these cells before the move. I've just hit Ctrl Z to undo the cut and paste so that the original tables are restored because I want to show you yet another way to move cells around the sheet, this time by only using the mouse. Select the range D2 to D9 by clicking D2 and keep holding down the left mouse button and drag by moving the pointer to D9 and then release the mouse button. Now move the mouse so that it is over the edge of the range shown by the blue border. When the pointer changes to a hand, click the left mouse button and keep it held down while you drag the selected cells to the destination. Google Sheet shows you a box so that you can drop the cells in exactly the right location by releasing the mouse button. So Google Sheet is very flexible. Once you have selected the range that you want to move, you can either use the menu bar or right mouse click when the mouse is over the range or just type Control X or you can drag the range with the mouse. Suppose you want to copy the cells rather than move them. Select the range D2 to D9. When you copy, Google Sheets does not change the formula. So if you look at the formula in E3 by typing F2, you will see that it is still C3 multiplied by D3. The copied list of prices in column H is a completely separate list. If you change a price, it will not change the totals in column E. I want to show you how to limit the information that you paste. If you look at the menu and click edit, you will see that the option paste special has a number of different options that can be selected. The first option is paste values only with keyboard shortcut of control plus shift plus V. Select the range D3 to E9 and then paste values, which I have done using the right mouse click menu. It is immediately obvious that the formatting with the green background, currency number formatting and centre horizontal alignment has not been copied. However, the less obvious but critical difference is that the formulas in column E have not been copied. Only the numerical result of the formula in column E have been copied to column L. There is a similar table with a list of vegetables that requires the same formatting as the tables of fruit. Select the table of fruits, then click B13 and paste format only, which I've done using the right mouse button, but it could have also been done using the keyboard shortcut Control plus Alt plus V. The table then gets exactly the same formatting as the table of fruits. I have made this example straightforward by making the tables the same size, but supposing you have another row in the table. To copy the formatting from one table to the other, 
I would copy the formatting in several steps. Copy B2 to E8 to avoid copying the thick bottom border of row 9 and then paste format only to cell B23. Then copy B9 to E10 to copy the formatting for the bottom two rows and then paste format only to cell B31. This leaves just one row to be formatted, which can be done by selecting B29 to E29 and then paste format only to B30. Each table and its formatting will be different, but in general it is quicker to copy and paste formatting than to start from scratch to set up the formatting for the new table. Finally, supposing you want to change the layout and swap the rows and columns, Google Sheet allows you to do this. Select the table and then paste by right mouse clicking Paste Special Transposed. You will now see that the column headings are now row headings and the row headings are now column headings. The other important thing is that Google Sheet has automatically changed the formulas so that the totals are still correct. The only thing that hasn't worked is the formatting. Colours and number formatting are correct, but the borders and horizontal alignments are wrong, but easily fixed. Another paste option is the paste column widths only. Column E is a lot narrower than column H. If you want to make column E and column H the same width, select any cell in column E and copy and then select any cell in column H and paste column width only. You will then see that column E and H now have exactly the same width. Another useful feature, but to be fair, a feature I rarely use, is the ability to change the paste special option after you have pasted the cells. A clipboard symbol appears at the bottom right of the pasted cells. Click this and you have two paste options. Click paste values only and the formatting reverts to the format of the cells before you did the paste. The yellow background, no currency number format and no horizontal alignment. If you click paste format only, the formatting of the cells is changed, which can be seen by the green background, but there is no contents. Note, click any cell and the clipboard symbol disappears. And if you want to change the paste, you will need to undo it using Control Z and then paste using the required paste special option. It is also possible to move complete rows or columns. Click on the column letter to select the column and keep the mouse over the column letter. It will then change to a hand symbol. Click and hold the left mouse button down and drag the column to the required position. Google Sheets will show a thick line to show where it will drop if you release the button. Google Sheets has automatically updated the formula so that the totals column still works correctly. One thing you need to be aware of when moving a complete column is that you need to be careful not to drag the freeze rows as shown. If you have not selected the column, then the hand symbol indicates that you are going to drag the freeze rows down. So make sure that you have selected the column first and then the hand symbol indicates that you will move the entire column. Another thing to note is the difference between cut and paste and move. The move has moved the column from the table so that there are no blank columns in the table. If you cut the column and paste it elsewhere, you will see that there is a blank column in the table. Only the contents of column C have been cut and pasted into the new column. The formula have been updated.